It's been a minute since I made a video, but here we are back. And in today's video, I want to do two things. One, I want to talk about the experience of playing online fighting games uh, in a tournament. So like entering uh, kind of an online tournament, which is kind of the only kind of tournament that's happening these days, you know, due to the global situation. But uh, I want to talk about like what is involved with that, how you can do it, uh, and argue for why you should do it. And then secondly, I'm going to review my matches from this past weekend's uh, Tekken World Tour Online uh, event, which I did for the North America West uh, Tekken 7 event. And that was a lot of fun. I did okay. Um, probably about as well as expected. Would have liked to do, have done a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. We can, we can look at the tape and uh, figure out what went wrong due to the uh, Tekken 7 replay feature, which is very nice. So first, online tournaments. Online tournaments are the tournaments that are happening right now, and you might think, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not good enough to play in a tournament, but let me tell you, you're good enough to play in a tournament. If you play fighting games, and you care about it, and you want to get better, and you, you think like, oh, I wish I was good enough to play in a tournament, you're good enough. You're good enough. It's going to be fine. Nothing bad happens if you lose. You will probably lose. Um, but it's okay. Everybody loses, right? There's only one person who doesn't lose in a tournament. And that person doesn't win all the time, right? It's not, it's, it's a different situation every time. And most tournaments are uh, what's called double elimination. So if you lose two sets, you're out. And that's a quarter of everybody. That's just the way the math works, right? 25% of everybody who enters goes 0-2. So that's fine, right? It, sometimes people go 0-2. In fact, everybody sometimes goes 0-2. Uh, I go into sometimes at tournaments. Um, I try not to, but it happens. It happens here and again. Um, obviously, really good players, really, really good players usually don't go into, but they, they could. And they used to. They did when they were not as good as they are currently. So, you're good enough to play. Um, it's easy. It's actually easier now to enter tournaments than it was when they were online or offline. Now that you're. Um, we're playing online for tournaments. Uh, all you need, you need a uh, Discord chat account usually, and you need a smash.gg account. Uh, those are both free, they're easy to get. You just sign up with your email address, no problem. Make these accounts, sign up. Uh, online tournaments are almost always free these days. Um, there's probably an online tournament for the game that you wanna play. Um, if you like to play Tekken, you're in, you know, that's really good luck because there's lots of these things happening. Um, Tekken's getting a lot of great support from, uh, from the publisher. Um, they're run by Bandai Namco, the, uh, the TWT uh, Tekken World Tour events. So that's really good. Um, unless you're playing something like Smash, you know, uh, shoutouts to Smash players and I'm sorry, uh, then the publisher is at least not antagonistic to your competitive scene. So you can find online tournaments for the game that you want to play. Um, even if what you play is pretty obscure, there's, there's going to be something happening. Um, particularly if you play Tekken, you're in really good shape because the netcode is now much better than it was just a few weeks ago. So that's great. Um, so if you play online uh, in an online tournament, it's going to give you a sense of what it's like to play in a tournament in general, and that'll just increase your confidence. Um, a lot of people have really bad tournament nerves. Um, I used to. And uh, it gets better with time. Just the more you do it, the more uh, you're used to it, you know, the more you can keep your nerves under control and the better you'll play. Um, there's a drop off, right? What you can do kind of in a normal, like what you can do in practice mode is, is one thing, but then what you can do against another person who's trying to prevent you from doing your stuff is another thing entirely. And then what you can do under pressure, like in a, in a tense environment, and, and tournaments tend to create those tense environments, is the third thing. Altogether, right? And your goal as a fighting games player is to make those things as close as possible. Make it so you can do the really sick stuff even under pressure. And just the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And that's why we do these things, right? It's kind of the long-term general improvement of you as a fighting game player, and that's that's what we love. Um, so you're already good enough if you lose. In conclusion, you're already good enough. If you lose, you lose. Nothing bad happens. Everybody's really nice for the most part. Um, 
Everybody was re super nice this weekend. Just really, really pleasant people. Um, yeah, just get a Discord account. Uh, find you some tournaments. Enter those tournaments. Do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Um, you will probably lose. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, and then when we're offline again, I want to see you offline. Come find me, right? Let's uh, let's go to our locals. Let's uh, go to the majors. Let's let's go play fighting games. Uh, but for now, we got online, and you know, it's all right. It's pretty good. And online is usually free, right? Uh, offline events, you got to pay to enter. So, and you got to go somewhere for offline events. Online, you're in your house. You know, it's all right. So that's what I wanted to say about online tournaments. Um, now let's look at my matches uh, from this weekend. I will make myself smaller, do, 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 like that, and let's watch these matches. So this was my first, uh, I went two and two in this tournament, so I played uh, four sets. Here is the first game. I'm the Armor King here. I was facing a, uh, facing a Gigas. His rank is pretty impressive here. So before season four, I was up at Fujin. Uh, so he's like a full color above me. It's a pretty impressive rank. I haven't been playing ranked on PS4. I've mostly switched over to Steam recently. Round one, fight. Okay. That's such a good move, that Ford Ford 2 from Gigas. Okay, I didn't whiff punish. He, he had a big whiff there. That was really sick. I didn't know I would hop over him like that. Okay, avoid. Not sure, what's he gonna do? Okay, counter hit. I don't know why he got hit by that. He didn't believe that I would finish the string. Okay. So what happened just there, uh, just for, he, he did a, a Giga string, and there's a third hit to it. I didn't know the second hit was so punishable, but I usually expect Gigas players to do the third hit, which is duckable. So what, I, I actually didn't know it was launch punishable, just the two hits. I was imagining he was going to do the third hit, and I was ready to duck it in my defense. So we got a combo. That should kill, right? Okay. Look at his 15 win streak here. That's a lot of wins. Counter hit. Oh! Okay, so that's a thing. What happened there? So I got the counter hit on the down back three, and I was imagining in my head that I was going to set up... I didn't know it would counter hit. So I was imagining in my head it was going to set up the counter hit while standing two, and I did not confirm hit versus counter hit. So it launched, but I wasn't ready to pick up with while standing four, which is the, the thing I should have picked up with. Back sway is good. Okay, didn't, didn't get a follow-up there. I think I could have got a shoulder. Raha, the key whiffed. We were both whiffing. Charge up, what's he gonna do? Mid, I guess wrong. One thing I noticed, that was the string, by the way, but it was in a combo. I think I tried to duck that. I think... I need to check to see if that's mid-mid, because -mid, it might have... I might have imagined it was mid-high. Wow, okay, he got under. Uh, he caught me with the while standing three from Gigas. That's a big combo. Gigas hits really hard. Plus frames and a sidestep. That was pretty good. Got the sidestep to one. A thing I did not do plus frames, what am I gonna do with it? That was a fast giant swing. I shouldn't have stand, stood up there. If I had stayed grounded, then the rage drive wouldn't have caught me. A thing that I'm doing poorly in this... Look at this float. That was a good combo. A thing I'm doing poorly in this matchup is on the um, Gigas like, charge forward thing. Like He gets a guaranteed mix-up on the rage drive. Okay. Let me pause it for a second. Fight. Two things I'm doing poorly. One, 
I'm letting him get the mix up off the Gigas charge forward thing. So like when he's like kind of, you know, marching forward like that, he gets a mix up between a, a mid punch that knocks down and is safe and a high unblockable. And the Gigas wants you to have to guess. Should I duck or should I not duck? Because if it's the mid, you don't duck. If it's a high, you have to duck to avoid it because it's unblockable. Uh, I think Armor King can option select out of that and punch parry both of them because Armor King does have a punch parry. I need to practice that, see if there's any timing differences because if there's a timing difference, then you could fuzzy guard it in principle. But I think if the timing is the same, then Armor King could just option select out of it by punch parrying both options. I need to mess with that. We interrupt. This is looking good, actually, right? I'm in the lead. I dropped the combo for some reason. No! Okay, I expected the low, and he caught me with the while standing three. That's a lot of Danny. Don't do anything. Okay, Mixies. He's not ready to break the throw. No whiff punish on the get up kick. He did it again. He did. This is gonna kill. Me. He caught me twice with that while standing three. And I think, I think the animation looked like, like I was expecting a down back two or something, or the, uh, I was expecting a low, but he went, he went with the, uh, the wall standing three, and that was a lot of damage. Okay, so that was pretty close. I got mixed twice, uh, missed a couple of whiff punishes that were possible. You know, I could have shouldered his, um, his get up for, I could have, I mean, you know, ideally, Dark Operate, that's what you... You want to you wanna be there with Godfist. Um, that was pretty close, though. Did all right. Oh, and the second thing I'm not doing is, um... Apparently, he's got a low hand sweep that's launch punishable. And I, I didn't... I can't visually tell the difference between that and just net down back two yet. Uh, we need to work on that. Go to the Fakum Rome stage. Round one. Fight. Okay. Okay, I'm going for. I, I'm, I'm trying to fish for the counter hit with the back one. Oh, rough. Okay, good Oki mix up. That's gonna be dead. As I'm getting up at the wall, he did the Golem shoulder attack. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I could've hot kicked that. Okay. That was... So that was the hand sweep that's launch punishable. And I need to learn to tell the difference. Because to me, that looks just like comeback too. Here comes the combo. Plus frames into... You guessed right. That's really risky against Gigas, right? No break. That was a regular grab. <gasps> He did it again! He did it again! I was expecting the second hit. Round three. So his kick, he goes into a shoulder, and the shoulder is a high. Okay, can punish that. Okay, so that was that same string where I was expecting the third hit. Okay, finish. That was a whiff punish. The uh, capital punishment just didn't connect. So this is looking pretty bad, right? He's looking like he's gonna sweep me. No whiff punish! No whiff punish, that's no good. Or he just swung in my face and I didn't retaliate. That floor breaks, that's so nice. Into the into the wall combo, that was really good. Really, really good. Clutch. Okay, there I converted off the counter hit down back three. That was good. I do that at round start a lot. I've wor I've so uh, 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 I got that while standing four at the wall. That's the thing I've been working on with Armor King is the Oki game after um, after the uh, Armor King uh, wall ender, which is down uh, two three four. Um, depending on what the opponent does, you can get either while standing four. That'll be most attempted get up options. If they stay on the ground, you can either do um, down three plus four. Uh, or you can try for a, um, a ground throw. And his ground throws hurt a lot, both of them. 
So that's okay. Here's another. Yeah, I could have punched Barry. That I could have punched Barry. No whiff punish. Okay, I didn't know that was even punishable at all. I need to learn what move that is. So that's a big gigas like upward swipe. All right. This is looking close. What are we gonna do? I should have pulled the trigger. Charge up. No charge up. Here's the charge. And he just whiffed. He just whiffed it. Okay. Alright. So, we're having whiff punishment errors. But, you know, there was some good stuff in there. We got we got some good combos. Uh, had a pretty clutch comeback there. Uh, in that uh, third round. Alright. So... I went to loser's bracket, no problem, right? We'll just do the loser's run. And this was... Uh, here I'm not the Armor King, here I'm the Kazi. So I switched... Uh, I saw that this guy was probably gonna play Armor King, and I, did, I didn't feel like doing the mirror match. Uh, and you know, really, in, in some sense, I'm really a Kazuma, Kazuya main anyway, so... Let's see how we do here. So good games to that uh, that Gigas player. I think his name is the One Asian. Is his uh, tournament handle? And this guy is called CS Puma. I believe from Colorado Springs. I think the CS is for Colorado Springs. We're at the Howard Estate. Round one. I don't know. Is that legal? Is that a preset? I go for a, a counter hit low. Just a oh, look at this combo. He's got the God Fist. We're going to the corner. What am I going to do on Wake Up? Okay, so no whiff punch. Well, very, very light whiff punish. I could have ducked that. But I flash into a Twin Pistons. Pretty good combo. Okay, he's doing no break. It was a little bit slow on the punish. There we go. We get it there. That's only minus 10. I was sure that was going to kill. I was sure that was going to kill. But it was okay. Round two. Fight. Pretty good combo. To the wall. Oh, oh yeah! I remember being surprised that that broke. Okay, I didn't block. Uh, just get up kick, but we're okay. That was so telegraphed. I should have, I should have seen that coming. Jaguars love to like work the jabs and then giant swing because it's so fast. And your fingers on the same button anyway. No block. So I'm not punishing his god fist. That was weird. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did the CD one. It's kind of a cool combo. Oh, oh. Into Oki. Okay, he guessed right on the Oki. I wanted to I wanted to counter his get up, but he didn't. Just running three, he's not ready. Okay, so that one that one went pretty smoothly. Uh I didn't read the giant swing. I really should have. Uh, and I should have done a combo to kill when I got that wall break. That was okay. But, you know, we got some pretty good combos. Nothing, like, super flagrantly wrong there. Get ready for the next battle. But I was worried when he when he did that first. Um, he caught me with the God Fist, like the Dark Upper, like right out of the gate. I I was like pretty impressed. A lot of Armor Kings don't use it a lot. It's a good move, but round one. Fight. So he just went straight to rematch. So he's fishing for it. Yeah, I'm not punishing it, but I, I just take the frames. Wave, 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 wave into the throw. No duck. Yeah, Armor King doesn't have a mix-up there. I mean, the mix-up is just don't do the second hit. 
But like, uh, you know, King and Murdoch have a, have a mid. No whiff, whiff on a tree. That's a, that was good. I thought that was really clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like came into my space swing in. I was like, no, no, I'm just gonna rage art. Round two. That was ill-advised. You can pick up. That's a cool combo. That's a cool combo. Right into the wall. He probably could have done the wall ender. Um, that was a big whiff. Forward four, you really don't want that to whiff. It's kind of a slow move. Recovery's not fast. I was a little late on the whiff punish there. He got clipped by the second hit of Twin Pistons. Is this gonna... I feel like I could have done a better combo there, but... That's the thing about this matchup, is Armor King does not have a good 13 frame while standing Punisher. So you can kind of just do, um... Oh, that was a drop. That was supposed to be an electric. You can kind of just do down forward 1, 2 against him, and like, he's gonna do a while standing forward. That's all you can do. Against like, some characters. I <laughs> drop it again. Terrible, right? That was the same combo. Okay, that was almost a whiff punish there. He swung... Okay, so he was having whiffing issues. I think that's a common problem. Yeah. Yeah, so against a lot of characters, it's really, really risky to do a Mishima, you know, down forward one, two, like, with... Um, you know, Kazuya or Heihachi or um, Kazumi's is very similar. Because, um, you know, Kazuya can launch it, right? Kazuya can. Kazuya can just twin distance you. Easy, every time. Uh, Armor King? He gets a while standing four. He doesn't. He could do while standing two, but I don't think that's a great punisher. I don't, I don't know how much damage it does. While standing four is pretty chunky, but that's all you get. So it's not so risky to just throw out the mid sometimes, especially if you think they're going to. Try to duck the, the down forward one four. Uh, so on to the next match. Here I am, Armor King again, and we are facing a Steve. Um, the I picked Armor King because I like the Armor King versus Steve matchup a lot more than I like Armor King versus Kazia. Or sorry, Kazia versus Steve. Kazia versus Steve is real hard for Kazia. Uh, but Armor King has like real good um, high crushes. Like you, the the thing that makes the match difficult is back one, among other things. You know, Steve is just like so uh, hard to punish, and he really wants to catch you with a back one. And Kazuya just is not great in that situation. So Armor King's got good. Um, yeah, it was just. Get that while standing one to the wall and oh I dropped it, I dropped it. Good punish, good punish. Yeah, I just like Armor King better in the matchup. He's got a punch parry too. The punch parry is real good against Steve, because obviously Steve likes to punch. Is this gonna kill me? Yeah. Just kick it out, right? What are they gonna do? So here, I, I really like um, wall pressure as uh, Armor King. Okay, good punish. That's a similar situation, actually. Um, although Steve's while standing 1-2 is a really, really good 11 frame punish. But, you know, Steve can't, like, launch it. Good step. Yeah, I interrupt it. Like, what are you gonna do? I'm- I- oh, I felt bad. I think I could've got a shoulder there before he fell off the wall. Oh! Slow with the while standing four. I was trying to counter hit, confirm it. Old man brain. Wasn't fast enough. He does not duck the... Pressure? What's he gonna do? I'm just like waiting, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get off this wall? That's a pretty good way to get off the wall. I, no duck, no duck! I should have shouldered that. Oh, 
Yeah, failed the whiff punish, right? He did the lean back punch, and I didn't. It just whiffed in my face, and I, I wasn't ready. We didn't even have to deploy the punch parry. We just kind of, just kind of won. But I like that backsway blow against Steve too, especially when he's in peekaboo stance. That one, I, I tend to, I tend to do the back one plus four against that, because it'll beat a lot of the options. One of my trading partners is a Steve, so I play the matchup a lot. It sucks so bad for Mishmas. <laughs> okay, start off with the down back three again. He, I, I wonder if people are going to start reading that. But in a first to two, right? There's only so much time to read. Just hop kick, right? Okay, we don't drop the combo this time. What's he going to do? I go for the ground throw. I really want him against that wall, because I want to set up that Oki situation as much as possible. Just run up Shining Wizard. What are you going to do? That was such a good option. That is such a good Punisher. That's a sick Rage Drive. Oh, I think I tried the... I think I tried the Punch Parry there, actually. Round two. Fight. I'm doing a lot of round start. I noticed he did the one two three four with the down. It's like one two one down two is the low wall break. What are we gonna do with it? Pretty good combo. Oh, okay, okay. I tried the uh, tried it again. He's he's burnt his reach. Second hit wall spots. Yeah, giving Steve nice. Run up and throw instead of doing a proper whiff punish there. He did the, the back sway punch again. I'm just hop kicking his approach. Good block. I should have low parried. That would have been better. No whiff punish! Hand spring. Okay. Round four. Fight. I think I could have done better. I made him block the forward four. Good sway, good sway. That's such a good move. That's ridiculous. He's not breaking the throws, though. Lariat. I'm using the Lariat more these days. I've been playing a lot of Armor King. No whiff punch. Okay, barely a whiff punch, right? Down forward one? I don't know. It's suspect. Huh, this is dead. Good read, good read. That was a really smart place to duck. If he had low parried there, he would have killed me. So, good games to Wheels of Pride. Okay, so again, what are we messing up on? Whiff punishes. We're not punishing whiffs to the extent that we ought. Okay, so... At this point, I was 2-1 in the tournament, right? I've won two uh, losers bracket matches. And here is my final set. Uh, this is against a... Uh, I think they're from Hawaii? Get ready for the next battle, battle. Leo player called Choxy. They're, they're super, uh, real friendly, friendly person. Very strong. I looked at their stream a little bit. They play a lot, mostly on PC. But they were super nice. Um, most people who play tournaments are quite friendly, actually. So again, you should you should play tournaments, because that's how you meet uh, Tekken players, right? Or fighting game players of whatever, whatever strength. So here I'm back to Kazuyur. We got a Leo. I... Fight. I looked at these before, do the wavu wavu. 
I need to learn the Leo matchup better. I could block. I did like one while standing forward and I felt like it was my time to hell sweep. They're showing me the parry. Ah, oh, that stance. I freaking hate that stance. It's very evasive. I need to learn the Leo matchup better. Okay, so they clipped me. They had one good read. Good. I had a schlub combo. But we're at the wall. Get a good wall enter. Yeah, okay, what do I do for Oki? Just stand there. Good. Is this gonna kill? They got off the wall. <gasps> okay, okay. That was punishable. Okay, I need to I need to recognize when when that's punishable. It seems like a good move. Oh, okay, I thought that was plus. That hand slap? I thought that was plus. It's not plus. It's minus. So I'm going for the that's plus. Okay, what they kept let me let's back this up a second. So That. Okay, okay. So that is a uh, back four one plus two, which is like a kick into a into a shoulder like that. Um, and they use that cancel really, really well against me. Um, yeah, that that's the cancel. So you can cancel it into a duck. And I actually did not know that you could cancel that into a duck until this match. Um, this Leo player used it really, really well against me. So we're dabbing, we're dabbing. Oh, that's minus on hit. Okay, the dab is minus on hit. I'm not... So Leo can step, or you can step Leo's uh, back 1-4 pressure, which I need to practice doing. I'm just kind of bad at the matchup in general. That, yeah, they did. Okay, so I wasn't ready to punish it that time. I didn't pull a trigger on the boss beat. Bum, bum. Bad combo. Okay, okay. Leo's down forward two is punishable. Good combo. Leo's down forward two is punishable. Okay. All right. So what have we learned? So back four, one plus two, you can cancel into crouch, but they're very minus if they do it, but they're in crouch, so you gotta remember. All right, so I was a little bit spooked and I was like, okay, I don't quite understand this matchup. My thought process here was Kazuya did okay, but I wanna completely switch it up on them in case they were like reading my tendencies. And I just want to push the offense. I just want to run up and do throw mix-ups. So that was my thought process. I was like, if I can't play, you know, punishment style Kazuya here, or vortex style Kazuya, I'm just going to do throw mix-ups and we'll see how that goes. And spoiler, it didn't work great, but we tried it. And this is the last game for today. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we gotta look for the down forward too and see if, uh, Round one. see if I Fight. failed to punish that again. Okay, we get the combo, combo knees. That's good. I think I should have gone for the wall pressure there. Is that? I wonder if that's seeable, or if that's like a real like unseeable low knockdown. Was that a reset? I think that might have been a reset. I think I, maybe I should have attacked. Low is so good. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. It's kind of telegraphed. Whiff. They got me spooked. They got me spooked on the cancel. Like I was expecting the low to come out of the cancel. Okay, a little bit of whiff punish. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. It's so long range. And they catch me stepping. Round three. Fight. Run up and throw. Oh, that's good. Giant swing. Feeling crispy. 
That's so terrible! Oh, that Lois! That, that, that stance is so evasive. Awful. What do you do against that? They just run up in, like, Bokoho. It's like AOP. One more hit. Just gotta get one more hit. Terrible. I, I, I remember. I, I yelled profanities on that mix-up, right? They got in my face and they crouched, and I was like, oh, they're gonna go for the full crouch. Big knockdown low, but it was the wall standing two for the reset. I, I was so mad. I, 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 I may have yelled profanities when that happened. And the second time I watched it, I yelled profanities again because I was surprised. Second time. It was such a... <laughs> they mixed me up so hard. I was like, oh yeah. Like, I'm gonna hella block this low. They can't they can't run up and crouch and do the full crouch low again, but it was the wall standing too. Terrible. Anyway, so I think I think we had some Leo uh, matchup unfamiliarity there. I've only had, you know, three tech in games to learn how to fight against Leo, right? Uh, terrible. Uh, but super well played. Um, and uh, yeah, we went two and two, um, got 49th place out of 111 players. Uh, tied for 49th, obviously a lot of people got 49th place. Um, but yeah, fun experience. Um, so we have takeaways, we, we have things that we can improve on. Um, improve whip punishing, um, improve block punishing. I think those are the two major ones. Uh, but yeah, uh, online tournaments, internet, I want you to play online tournaments. Um, and moreover, I want you to have a very nice day, so thank you for watching. Uh, please take care of yourself. Uh, we're gonna get through all of this, and uh, have fun. See you later. Thanks. Let me actually end the recording. <laughs>